Hello guys and welcome to my first episode of Minecraft Tips and Tricks. So in this episode I will be showing you how best to get your XP. Um, this will be in the nether and you'll be mining nether quartz. Um, so basically your main aim or tools, firstly I will list out the tools you actually need um, in order to do this. Firstly you will need a silk touch pickaxe, it doesn't matter which pickaxe it is, it could be an iron pickaxe, it could be you know, a any pickaxe at all, but I would recommend diamond obviously because it's got the most durability. Um, and obviously, you will need a normal pickaxe uh, if you're starting off at level 20 or whatever level you come to. I would highly recommend a fire resistant potion, as the whole of the Nether is basically made out of fire. So, um, I would highly recommend the fire resistant potion, and I'd also obviously highly recommend bringing quite a lot of food with you just in case you end up getting lost. Um, I don't know why I have a random sad on me, but I've just basically come from doing the Ender Dragon. So um, I've just killed the Ender Dragon, and uh, I've just basically come from, from doing that. So um, bring a, bring one or two pickaxes with you. All depends on the durability of one. Um, but obviously, bring a weapon with you just in case. You should always bring a bow with arrows. But unfortunately, I used all my arrows on the Ender Dragon, so uh, I don't have any with me, which uh, means ghasts will probably cause me a bit of a problem. But first things first, uh, you want to get your coordinates up. Uh, and you want to take a screenshot of that, which is F2. So click F2, that's obviously the normal hotkey. Uh, you can then press T to go to type, and you can click on the actual picture itself, and it will bring up in a different window uh, the screenshot that you've just taken. So that right there is going to be your little way home. You want to take the screenshot at your ender portal. Um, never portal, sorry, not ender portal. Uh, yeah, you want to take the screenshot at your never portal. Uh, just to make sure that you can always make your way home. Uh, you can just tap to the picture and find your coordinates again and make your way home. So, um, I'm going to go on the hunt for Never Quartz now. Uh, hoping I don't find too much lava or not too many gas. See you. Usually I'd go into a pretty open area, but as I'm already level 23, I just want to kind of make this fast. Um, uh, I'll do it anyway. Yeah, um, the reason I would um, well, it's, well, there's a lot up there already. Uh, the reason I would recommend a fire resistance potion is because it's literally if you fall into that lava down there, you're basically dead without it. Whereas if you have the fire resistance potion, just quickly glug the fire resistance potion down, and uh, and you'll be fine. You can literally swim in the lava. So um, fire resistance potion helps you out loads, loads and loads. Especially if you've got all your diamond gear on you. I'm not too sure if there's any down here actually. I have those. So obviously, like normal, you just just start mining it like normal if you're not level 30 yet. Level 30 is going to be your main aim to get uh, due to enchantment tables, um, max enchantment being level 30. So uh, that's what we want to aim for, is to get level 30. Uh, once you do hit level 30, you'll start mining these. You'll start mining these with, um, with your Silk Touch pickaxe. Uh, this allows you to actually collect the Never Quartz as a block. Uh, you will then take as many blocks home as you want. I've had like 10 stacks of 64 before. Uh, 64, 62. I can't remember what the max stack is now. 64, yeah. Uh, I've literally taken 10 stacks of 64 back with me once. And um, and what you do is you waste all your 30 levels away on the enchantment table. And then you um, just stack up the never brick. Because obviously it still is a brick. So if you mine it with a normal pickaxe rather than a silk touch one, you're still going to get the XP from it regardless if you're in the nether or your house or whatever. So you take it back to your house, uh, spend your 30 levels and you're enchanting, and then you place down all the blocks. What I do is I literally just stack the block on top and just stack it all the way up to the sky and just mine my way down because it's much faster doing that way rather than uh, stacking them all out in a straight line and just mine in a straight line. I find it much easier with these. All you have to do is space bar and place it down. But, um, all this nether course is in quite awkward positions. It's all encased around lava. See, if you had more than one fire resistance potion of you as well, uh, you could literally just swim across that lava just to get over there, just to get the never quartz, which is which is absolutely awesome. Uh, I should have brought more than one on me, really. But, um, oh well. Just to make the video a bit longer. But, um, yeah, basically, the aim of these videos is just to show people uh, tips and tricks that they may not know otherwise. And um, just to help them out because the uh, this way of leveling is so fast and it's very 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 helpful if you're going to start off um, getting prepared for the Never Dragon because obviously the Never Dragon uh, the Ender Dragon sorry I get confused with the Ender and the Ender and the Never 
Um, but yeah, so if you want to get your um, armor together for the, for the end, uh, it's very, very helpful for that. You can literally get your f full armor within about a day or two just to go to the end. So um, uh, that'll be pretty helpful for me as well. I'm going to be doing. Oh, what have I done there? I'm going to be doing a uh, a live a live stream, 24 hour stream of uh, taking out the Ender Dragon within 24 hours. So I'll be starting on the server and killing the Ender Dragon within 24 hours. Um, I hope, obviously, if it all goes to plan. Um, ah, there's loads up here. That's great. And you've got to be very, very careful not to hit these pigmen. You can actually move them, as far as I remember. Just by nudging them, they do they do move. So uh, just make sure you don't hit any of them, otherwise you'll have a lot of angry pigmen on you, and they'll most probably kill you because they all have gold swords. And it hurts. Um, hopefully it won't take too long to get LFA. Can I reach out? Definitely can't now. Okay, this this never quartz is so common in in the never as well. So uh, hopefully, you know, I managed to get so many stacks of 64. I got in about two hours. I got like 10 stacks of 64 in roughly two hours, I think it was. Um, and that the, the 10 stacks odd, or however many I had, I think I had about 10 or maybe eight. Eight was the least I had. Um, that gave me three or four level 30s, I think. Uh, yeah, I think it gave me about four level 30s. So obviously that's like four pieces of gear that you can just enchant straight out. As you can see, it's very, very fast XP. So um, I will remind you that when you get to level 30, you have to stop mining with your normal pickaxe and start picking up all the Never Quartz with your Silk Touch. Um, you don't get XP when you mine it with the Silk Touch, you just get it as a block, just as the block as it is here. And uh, that will allow you to go home, place it down as the full block, uh, then you then mine it with a normal pickaxe once you're at home and spend all your 30 levels. That way uh, it gives you most uptime in the level without having to keep on teleporting back, enchanting your gear, teleporting back, mining loads, and then just teleporting back and forth. It would just take a very, very long time. So uh, I found this way is the easiest and fastest way to, uh, to do mining. Okay, level 27, course 28. Shouldn't be much longer. That and that up there might push me back to about 29. My brain's going. I'm not too sure if I said to bring a. I did say to bring a fire potion. Ah, yeah, I did. Um, yeah, fire resistance potion, highly recommended. And a bow with arrows is highly recommended as well. Because them, them, them ghasts, they get extremely, extremely annoying if you're mine out in the open. And they make tons of fire. Also, I don't know, quite a few people may not know, but you can actually just put the fire out just like that, hit the base of it with the sword. It doesn't use up the durability on the sword, and it just makes it a lot less, uh, a lot less messy, so you won't stand it. Okay, is there any down there? Oh, I don't think I want to go down there. No, definitely not. Oh, come on, I can get to that. Most of the time, this is in very awkward places. Ah. Usually I have my enchanted one, number one, so I can just go bam, one, bam, one, and just switch between the two if I, uh, if I need to. But that's totally your preference. Alright, so I'm 28 now. Just gotta find a little bit more. Hit level 30. And then we'll start off with the. Ooh, there's some. Usually it goes in like a chain reaction. You find one bit and then you just find loads and loads and loads of it. The other day, I think it was yesterday, I just couldn't stop finding it. Ah, oh, there we go. There's more. There's some lava, which we don't want to see. That is a lot right there. This might even get me level 30. It should do it. Maybe I was wrong. Oh no, almost. Okay. 
There should be some more up here. Like I said, it's so common that you level up so fast that there we go. So once you hit level 30 straight away, you want to stop using it and start mining up by this with a silk touch. This will allow you to pick up the block like this. Do this as much as you like. Honestly, go, go crazy. Go ham on it. I'll try and get a little bit more and then I'll go back and just show you the technique of what to do when you get home. Aha, there's more. Wow, I walked straight past it. Okay, as long as you don't mine this over lava, it's absolutely fine just to let it drop down. Like I said at the beginning as well, you should have your screenshot just to uh, keep them tabbing out. Ooh, there's more. Like I said, once you find one, you'll just find loads. And if you're anything like me, you'll walk past some, or you'll be on your way home to uh, to obviously mine up all your never, uh, never, never, rack, never, rack, never caught. You'll be on your way home to mine all your, uh, all your never caught up and get all your levels, and you'll find more, and you'll find more, and you'll find more. It'll just keep them going in a chain reaction, and you'll never ever get home because it will just keep on popping up everywhere. I really want to get that. Like the seeding ones are the most annoying. You have to use so much bricks to get to it. So um, let's have a quick look at where my cords, cords were. I'm not actually all that far away. Minus two. Seven, okay. So minus two. Seven three. And I was on 67,000. Okay. I know there was lava around where I was though, so I want to be very, very careful. There's lava everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. That was minus 2. Oh crap. Minus 2, 17. Minus 2, 17. Okay, so I'm going in the wrong direction for a start. Okay, I'm still going in the wrong direction. Oh, and a little tip, try and stay as far away from the mining as possible, because uh, numerous times I've just been mining away. Oh, and like that, exactly like that, lava has just popped down in my face. So that was a, a perfect example. Oh, that doesn't look nice. Um, and you'll find, if you come to the nether quite a bit, that it is, it is quite difficult to get, away, get around. Obstructions absolutely everywhere. Minus two, I think it was 17. 17's in this direction. And then what I basically do is oh, wait, I better go to my. Oh, what do I want to enchant? I can't even enchant anything. Um, let's, uh, let's go. Actually, you know what? Let's just enchant this pickaxe. Doesn't really matter. Give this a quick enchant. Oh, that's nice. All right, that's good. And then we will. You can do it anywhere, really. Just do it absolutely anywhere. Uh, then this is what this is personally what I do. All right. So I just literally top it all the way up. And even if you have like two stacks of 64, you can still do it like that. So just keep on stacking all, as many up as you want. And, um, and then you can literally just watch, if you've got two screens that is, you can literally just watch Netflix while just holding down your mouse, mouse button. It's just, uh, it's really, really easy. So then with the pickaxe that doesn't have the silk touch on it, with the pickaxe that doesn't have the silk touch on it, then just mine away it. 
three is just that easy. And welcome to the fastest XP you've ever got. Oh, and a spider's waiting to creep me at the bottom. Thank you very much, that. Okay, so, get rid of that. There we go, already that was just about, uh, I can't remember how many blocks that, that was about 30 blocks, and that alone got me almost 10 levels, or 9.5 levels, so, um, so yeah. Hopefully this will help you out if you're getting prepared for the end dragon. And, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is Wreck, signing out, and... Please feel free to leave me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed this video or if you found this video helpful at all. Um, I'd love to know your feedback uh, on how you feel about this video. And the next video I will be doing is how to get the Ender Dragon's Egg. Uh, the easiest way to get the Ender Dragon's Egg. So a lot of people want to use the pistons and that there's a much, much, much easier way. You don't need a piston at all. So um, I will be doing uh, how to get the Ender Dragon Egg. Uh, the easiest way. It will also detail on how to get rid of gravel fast. So if you have a ton of gravel uh, in a cavern, this will get rid of, a, rid of it mega fast in about four seconds. So um, feel free to tune into that one. Uh, that will be episode two. And in the future, I will be doing some um, some gameplay videos as well on uh, on Hunger Game servers or Syndicate Game servers on Multitude. If you haven't heard of Multitude, please go and search it up. It's an absolutely amazing server. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to leave me a like and a subscribe. And goodbye.